everybody, my name is Ethan, and welcome back to another Q&A episode. So let's go ahead and get right into the questions. First question comes from Evan Bricks. He asks, what is your best LEGO clearance find? I'd say that Jurassic World Pteranodon, I believe, set that I got for $7 whenever it was $16. He also asks what your favorite shoe brand is. My favorite two shoe brands are Adidas and Vans. Next question comes from Random Productions. He asks, awesome vid question, what is your favorite dead meme? Cha-cha real smooth. And he says, what was your favorite video you ever made? Every video I make is my favorite video. Next question comes from Apprentice Brick. He asks, what is the creepiest Lego minifigure you own? Definitely this Darth Maul. Just look at those eyes. Ugh. Next question comes from MFL Vids. She asks, have you ever seen the Ninjago show? Yes, I've seen all the way up to season nine. If so, do you still, I already kind of answered that question. I don't really anymore. Um, she remembers after the robot season. No, I don't watch Ninjago anymore just because it kind of uninterests me, but I may start watching it again just for the heck of it. <laughs> JK Films asks, who are some of your friends on YouTube? I'm not going to stir up any drama with that one. The second question is, who's your favorite minifigure from series 19? The dog lady, mainly for the dogs. David Lego Lab asks, if you were a Lego designer, what Lego set will you create? I'd like to create an aquatic theme. I think we really need another Lego aquatic theme. I think it'd be really cool. His second question is, what is another toy that you like besides Lego? I want to start getting into collecting Funko Pops, specifically Stranger Things related, since I am into Stranger Things at the moment. Since there's not much Marvel or like Star Wars stuff going around right now, I'm just into Stranger Things. But I'm also really into Hot Wheels. I haven't gotten any in a while, but I got a really cool new one um actually yesterday so yeah president sad asks how many lego sets do you own in total too many to count man too many to count jar jar asks what retired lego set do you regret not buying a retired lego set that i regretted not buying was like a jail breakout ninjago set i really wanted it because i was watching the show and i still think it's a half decent set i can't remember what it's called but it had a red box outline so if you can find it show me because I've, I've been on that set for so so long but i never picked it up bad dude asks what piece do you hate seeing in a lego set i don't really hate seeing any pieces in a lego set but i hate it whenever it comes with extra studs because i can assure you most people that buy lego sets have extra studs lying around so in the extra pieces to get studs is just annoying but i can understand why if it's like a stud shooter or whatnot he also asks did you once look in a jumbo lego box and think you have the right piece but it turns out no yes many many times Leno Lan asks, what is your least favorite Lego figure ever? I really don't like Lego City Fireman and Police. I don't have anything against Fireman and Police in real life. Just, I've seen them so many times in Lego City. It really, really gets old. Same with construction workers. The Brick Scheme asks, is Shima a good theme? I think it's 9 out of 10. I'd give it a 7 out of 10. It's had some good sets and it's had some bad sets. So overall, I'd give it a 7 out of 10. I feel like people didn't appreciate it as much as we should have because it was actually a decent theme. Next question comes from Chosen Singer. He asks, who's your favorite not so popular YouTuber? I don't really like to play the favorites game, but basically a lot of smaller Lego YouTubers that I am subscribed to and is in my recommended, I normally enjoy. He also asks, what is your favorite ideas project not approved my favorite ideas project not approved is the lego stranger things ideas project that was entered quite a while back ago i know stranger things is a theme now so it'll probably never happen unless lego makes a hawkins laugh so yeah i really like that ideas next question comes from lego josh he asks what would be a cool idea for a lego marvel superhero set Basically, any cool scene from Endgame would be an amazing Marvel set. Heck, any accurate Marvel MCU movie set would be amazing. He also asked, what is one video that you made that you thought would do better than it did? It was actually my Series 19 video. I uploaded it the day of. I was able to get it out somewhat early, but it just didn't end up doing as well as I thought it would be. Next question comes from Lego Land, or Leno Land. He asks, do you think Lego will make more lego stranger things sets i actually answered this in a very in-depth video that's like three minutes long but it took me forever to make so if you want to check that out check that video out that'll explain everything about what i think is next for stranger things 
Second last question comes from Bird Bricks. They ask, would you rather have all the sets from the past 10 years or all the sets from the 70s? That's a difficult one. The 70s are pretty rare and you could probably resell it. I probably wouldn't though, but I would prefer the sets from the past 10 years because there's been some pretty good sets. And our final question comes from Leno Land. He asks, do you think Lego will end? No, Lego is a very expensive product, collectible, and toy. Many, many people buy it. I do not think it'll end. Probably in another 20 years, maybe, if kids are just forever on their phones or iPads or whatever. But no, I don't think it'll end anytime soon for now. Alrighty guys, that about wraps up this episode of the Q&A series. If you would like to see your episode in the next Q&A episode, please be sure to put down one to two comments in the comment section down below, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye and have a great day.